Hi guys, my name is TJ and welcome back to TJ Smiles. Today I have a book review for you and it is all Carval by Stephanie Garber. Now I received Carval in my All Crate box a couple months ago. I will link that video, my unboxing at the end of this video and like the down box and all of that jazz. But this book I had never read anything quite like this book and I knew that going into reading this book that this book would be very unique and different compared to anything else I've ever read before. And as I continued reading this book I was continuously blown away by all the different aspects of this book and how it was so unique. Such a unique book and I was so surprised on every twist and turn this book. Before I get into reviewing this book too much, I would just like to say that I am not a fantasy fan. I wish I was. I've tried so hard to get into fantasy and it's just the hardest genre for me to get into and wrap my head around. I find a lot of times while reading fantasy books that I'm just not comprehending a lot of what I'm reading and there's so much world building that I'm trying so hard to like figure out the world that I don't have time to follow the plot and the characters and I find myself forgetting small facts and details as I'm reading and I find myself reading reading pages over and over again trying to wrap my head around the content that's on the pages. So fantasy is just not my favorite genre. I'm really trying to get into it hence why I'm stepping out of my comfort zone reading a book like this that is so uniquely written in a fantastic world. The world building in this book was crazy. I had never read a book set in a world quite like this. My dog is barking downstairs and he won't shut up. Howard I'm trying to film, sir. So Caravelle follows the story of a girl named Scarlet and her sister Tella. Now growing up, Scarlet and her sister lived with their dad, and their dad was like this ruler of this small island nation or island community, something of the sorts. And he was a very strong and powerful ruler, and that's the same exact way he ruled his house. He was very physically and mentally abusive towards his daughters, and that's probably why Scarlet had held on to this whole childlike fantasy of the Caraval for so many years. Growing up, the girls' grandmothers would- grandmother, I should say- told the girls all these crazy magical stories about her time at the Caraval and meeting the Carnival legend and how legend was this crazy magical guy and he was so magical and mystical and mysterious and just overall this amazing guy and Scarlet grew up with her sister believing in this magic caravel and they wanted so badly to experience this himself that for years Scarlet wrote letters to legend who the guy who like ran the caravel and she would write these letters to him asking Legend to come visit her since her and her sister were not allowed to leave the island. But for years and years and years, Scarlet never heard back this from This story Legend. picks up when Scarlet and her sister are older and Scarlet is engaged to be married to a man she has never met. Her father does not want her to know who this guy is that he set her up with and the only way- she, only thing she knows about this guy is through the letters they have wrote back and forth to each other. So Scarlet knows that since she's about to be married and moving away to live with her husband that her chances of meeting Legend and going to Caravel is about to end. So she writes one last letter to, to the Legend asking him if he could come visit her and her sister and make like her childhood dreams come true almost. And this is when she finally hears back from Legend. Legend sends Scarlet in the mail a letter inviting her to his island to participate in this year's carnival or caravel. I always want to say car car carnival but it's caravel. So to participate in this year's caravel and he has a ticket for her and her fiance so they were invited. But Scarlet, when Scarlet shows this to her sister, the girls realize that they have no way of getting to the island he's on because they're not allowed to leave theirs. Their father would murder them if he even knew they were trying to leave. So, luckily for them, Tella knows a boy- Julian! She knows a boy named Julian and Julian becomes a, becomes a major part of this story because he gets the girls to the island. But after he gets Tella, Tella mysteriously goes missing and it's just him and Scarlet for the remainder of the adventure. Now, the idea of Carval is, is this giant mind game and at the end of the mind game you get this wish from the legend and your wish comes true, blah blah blah. So the purpose of the game is to try to not let your mind get so caught up in all the magic and wonder around you and the game is going to try to terrorize you and torment you 
and mentally trick you and scam you in 110 different ways. And you have to try to keep a straight head and make it through. So, like I said, Tella goes missing. Well, they soon find out that the purpose of this carnival is to find Tella. Everyone on the island is looking for Scarlet's sister. And Scarlet is a little going crazy here because she's getting married in like a week and now her sister's missing on this island they shouldn't be on so she has to find her sister and get back so she can go and marry her fiance. So it's getting crazy and she has to find her sister. Over the course of searching for her sister, Scarlet and Julian grow a very special bond but what Scarlet doesn't realize is Julian is not exactly who the man he is saying he is. He has some secrets in his back pocket that he's not exactly sharing with Scarlet. And throughout their journey, as they grow closer, some of the secrets are revealed. But not all of Julian's secrets are revealed until the very end. And I'm not going to tell you that. Like I stated before, fantasy is a really hard genre for me to get into. And this book took me a while to get to. It probably wasn't until like the last hundred pages where I was like, I have to finish this book. And for the like beginning 300 some pages, I was struggling through trying to wrap my head around everything, comprehend everything. It wasn't until the climax that I was really into the book and into the world and into the story and I wanted to know what happened. So this book, because of that, I rated it like a two and a half out of five stars because fantasy isn't my favorite genre. It took me forever to get into and yeah, I just couldn't get into this book as much as I would have liked until like the last 100 some pages and then it was just over a cliffhanger. Gotta wait for another book to come out. <sighs> So like I said, despite me not enjoying, I shouldn't even say not enjoying, despite me not being able to fully enjoy the ride, the first few pages, first few, first few hundred pages, um, the last hundred pages really got me hooked and I am most definitely interested in reading what comes out next from Miss Stephanie. I really did enjoy it. So yeah. Two and a half out of five stars for Carvo by Stephanie Graber. At this point, I'm going to go ahead into a spoiler section. So if you haven't read this book, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I really got hooked at the climax. And when her father and her fiance showed up, it got real. And that's where I got hooked. And then we find out that Jillian was like part of the car caravel trick this whole time and her sister was in on it and like her sister died and Jillian died but then they didn't die and her dad was there and like he was murdering people and her fiance just ended up being a bad person as well and she had to make this mental decision like who does she want to save does she want to save Jillian this boy she may actually love that she gave up her fiance for even though it was for the better for her to give him up anyway she don't have anywhere to go she's disobeyed and abandoned her father and her fiance now and where are her and her sister gonna go after this so there's a lot going on at the end of the story when her and Jillian kind of make up that's really sweet but the story kind of ends there and what the heck happens after that I want to know I really want to know so I'm gonna have to read the next book uh, but yeah and then at the very end of the story we also learn that the legend kind of Tilla Tilla, Tilla. Tella kind of owes the legend something for letting Tella play such a huge part in this caravel. And the whole reason for Tella doing this was so the girls can escape their father. So the legend helped the girls escape her father, a very abusive father. But now Tella owes the legend something. And what is it that she owes him? What does she have to do? And then... Also something about the girl's mother came up at the very end of the book, like Legend knows where she is. I didn't mention this like earlier in my review, but the girl's mother kind of just mysteriously disappeared. They don't know if she ran away, if she was murdered, what exactly happened. They don't know, but apparently Legend knows a little something about that. And I'm assuming that's going to be a major plot line of the next book. And I'm really excited to explore that plot line a little more. more. So, yeah. Overall, it took me a long time to get into this book, but once I got into this book, I really enjoyed it, and I most definitely am looking forward to reading another book by Stephanie. The world in this book is nothing like I've ever read. This book is so uniquely and beautifully crafted. 
I wish someday I can write something as unique as this book. Honestly, I've never read anything like this book. So you But yeah, despite my struggles to get into this book, I really did enjoy reading this book and I'm super glad I got it in my owl crate box and I decided to actually pick it up because I tend to get my owl crate boxes and not read the books that come in them for a while. So I'm glad I read this one relatively soon after getting it because I really enjoyed it. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!